Hey, it's KK, the Metal Voice Man in the Street. I'm in Old Saybrook, Connecticut tonight with Ronnie Moreau, and you're watching the Metal Voice. Oh, hey, it's KK, the Metal Voice Man in the Street, and today I'm on the streets of Old Saybrook, Connecticut. I'm here with Ronnie Moreau, ex singer from Metal Church, TSO, and a various solo albums out. The first time I heard this man was I was working at 1675 Broadway Entertainment Weekly Security and the uh, head of music direction, Tom St. Clair, came down and told me there was a new singer in Metal Church if I wanted the promo to check it out. I listened to it. I loved it. To this day, I love this guy's voice. Ronnie sang for Metal Church in what, 10 years, Ronnie? About 10, yeah. 10 years. He walked away for a solo career. He put out about four solo albums out, correct? Correct. He landed with a band called Peacemaker. Correct. Okay, and he's got exciting news. With Last year you joined One Machine, correct? That is correct, yes. And can you tell us a little about that? Uh, well, One Machine is uh, Steve Smythe uh, on guitar. Uh, Steve was with uh, Forbidden. I think he's actually doing another show with them here in, uh, next month, I believe. Also, he was in Testament, uh, Nevermore. Great guitar player good people. The rest of the guys are out of the UK. I joined up with him uh, about a year and a half ago, right before COVID hit. So that's kind of been on hiatus and doing things of that nature. And then uh, after that, or closely after that, is when Between Worlds came into uh, okay. view. Then that's this year, you joined Between Worlds, and that's out through Frontier Records. Now, is that more or less a vehicle for you with a, the various musicians, or is it a full band? Well, it's a band as of right now. Um, we don't have any dates uh, booked. We will, but uh, the actual release date is September 10th. Now, I see Jack Frost is on the album. Yes, uh, he is. Joe Holkstra is yeah. on the second single, uh, Soul Chaser, which just came out last week. That's correct. And the first single came out in June, which is Between Worlds. Yeah. And the album will be released uh, September 10th on Frontier Records. Correct, and also... Uh, a couple more guests that I have on there is uh, Chris Caffrey and Johnny Lee Middleton, both from Sabotage and TSO, friends of mine. So I asked them if they'd be part of it, and they said, yeah, and uh, they did, of course, a great job. You know, I'm in very good company with everybody on the, on the record. You've worked with Chris before. And I have. He yeah. played on uh, my Lords of the Edge record, and we toured together uh, it's a good TSO guy. plus... Uh, with Metal Church, and I was yeah, he's, say, he's a very good yeah, guy. TSO. How, how long did you tour as TSO? I did two tours, 2011 and 2012. I think I met you on one of them. Right? Yeah. yeah, and uh, real quickly, back on uh, just on Between Worlds, you know, I was approached by Alessandro Del Vecchio, the, the master. This guy can sing his balls off, keyboards, guitars, production, engineering, producing. He does everything. And he's really, really good. And I was honored when he reached out and asked me if I wanted to do to record some songs, some demos. I'm, I'm glad he did. To uh, send to Frontiers. Yeah, so am I. And uh, he's got a group of guys along with them that, uh, like M Michael Santa on drums, uh, Alex Jansen on bass, Pete Alpenborg on guitar. It's like a know, Frontiers house band kind of. Jack but, Frost. Right? Yeah, they do a lot of the mm -hmm. stuff for Frontiers. Um, but these guys did uh, a great job. And Alessandro really delivered some... Uh, some really good tunes for me to write to. So you did most of the writing, the lyrics, and the lyrics, the, yes, the melodies and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but they, they did all the writing for the music. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I hope you get a tour out of that, and I hope it comes to the states. Definitely. Oh, me I can see you hitting Europe. I mean, you'd be big, or huge over there. Yeah, let's hope so. Yeah. Now, um, you studied under uh, a very good uh, singer and uh, what, a vocal coach in Seattle, Washington area back in the day. Yeah, yeah. That, that was, when was that, in the early 90s? Early 90s, right? Yeah, David Kyle, the maestro David Kyle. And he's helped... Uh, oh, he taught uh, many people. Jeff Tate from Greensryche, Anna Nancy Wilson, Lane Staley from Allison Chains, of course. Terry Young from Rail, which is another great Seattle band that really never got their due. Um, and a lot of people. So I went in and took uh, some, some lessons from him to learn, work on my breath control and whatnot, and uh, you know, so uh, basically the rest is history. I've been yeah. chugging along. And I think he had something to do with Mike Howe too, right? Um, I believe so. Yeah, I believe he did. 
Now you were kind of sandwiched in between Metal Church and Mike Howe. Mike Howe had left, the band had broken up, and then in 2004 you come along. Yeah. And I'm um, sorry, this past week recently uh, we've lost Mike Howe. And uh, my condolences to you and the Metal Church family. You're still part of that family. Uh, well, you know, uh, thank you. I, I appreciate that. And, uh, what a tragedy. Um, quick story, I, I met Mike and hung out with him one time. Basically, I believe it was in 2006, he came out to Reno uh, and we shared the stage and did Date With Poverty together. After the gig, we out, went, all, went out to a club and had some drinks and just sat and talked shop and he was a sweetheart. You know, I've never heard anybody say anything bad about the guy and what a tragic loss, you know, but you never know what's going on with people. And, uh, you know, again, I feel really bad for, I believe he has a couple sons. Family, yeah. And uh, a wife, so he's got a family, and that's devastating. So uh, I total, I wish their family the best, and I send my condolences out to all Mike's family, friends, and fans. Yes, the Metal Voice family does, too. We're all devastated. And um, it was great talking to you, Ronnie. Thank you for your time. I'm glad I finally met you. One machine coming out soon, September. Soon. September 10th, Between well, Worlds, definitely coming out. Yeah, September pick it up. 10th. You can pre-order it now. Go to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram. I'm all over the place. And uh, just come and say hello. Check out the video and put a like and share it if you would. Great, Thanks, Thanks for your time, though. You got it, bro.